Hi, I'm Chris with Adventures in DIY, and this is my 42 inch handsaw that I just finished refurbishing. Originally, the blade was coated in rust, and this was the handle. And yes, the tape was necessary. Let me show you how I made it into this. This all started when my neighbor was cutting down his African sumac tree and asked if I wanted the trunk. Of course I did. The trunk was too big to move, so I Tom Sawyered some friends into helping me cut it into manageable sections. But of course, all I had was this rusty saw. That was a good day. Much to my friend's dismay, afterwards I thought it'd be cool to refurbish the saw. This was a good chance to try the hock blades I put in my great grandfather's Bailey number no. 5. There's definitely a difference between the stock blade and the new one. I was hoping the handle would be stronger if I made it around a knot, since the wood grain is more of a circular pattern. I figured it'd be safer if I did the aggressive inside shaping before cutting the outside pattern. I did what I could with power tools for shaping, but there was a lot of hand tooling necessary to get it to fit just right. For the saw blade slot I started with a thin accurate saw then moved to a thicker one that was closer to the thickness of the 42 inch blade. To figure out where to drill the holes, the old handle and the new one were lined up and then the pilot holes were drilled. Here's another be smarter than me moment. Once you have those first holes, start to work from the biggest recessed area backwards and not the way I'm doing it. If you do that you probably won't have to do as much chiseling as I did. There we go with the cheap set of chisels again. Yeah, so I'm pretty much doing everything Wrangler Star said not to do to your saw blade. I kind of hit that saw blade with everything I had. I sanded it, wire wheeled it, and then took a 2 inch sanding disc to that thing. The blade was a mess so I prepped the teeth with the Dremel. After that a file was used to sharpen the teeth. The side handles are made from the scrap left over from the main handle. I use this as a chance to practice squaring up and dimensioning a piece of wood with some hand tools. This was also the first time I used a spoke shave to shape something like this. I drilled the hole down the center so it was about half inch shy from the other end. From there it was a matter of cutting the tip off. I tack welded the fixed side. If you don't have a cheap welder like this, something like JV Weld would probably do just fine. For the other side where the nut sits deep inside the handle, I didn't want the epoxy to get into the threaded area, so I used the extra threaded rod that was trimmed off and a straw to create a channel for it to go into. Once everything was dry, I trimmed off the plastic straw and then epoxied it all together. My hands were getting pretty hot from the friction of sanding, but uh, I gotta pretend to be tough in the clip. Step one, get the caps hot. Step two, beat the crap out of them. Adding these copper caps is an example of how I just keep wanting to add one more detail that seems to drag out a project. Before the caps could get installed, the handles had to be trimmed a little bit. Getting the caps to fit took a little bit of trial and error. When trial and error fails, get your hammer out and then make that round cap fit that not so round handle. A bit of epoxy was used to install the caps on the ends. Everything was given one last sanding to 600 grit and all the wood was finished with semi-gloss poly. I'm really curious how the handles on the side of the blade are going to work out. Uh, whether they're really going to help me out or if they're just going to get in the way and I'll take them off. And I know I'm going to get dinged in the comments for the swirl marks on the side of the blade from that uh, two inch sanding disc. Uh, they're going to end up causing some extra friction as the saw blade cuts through the wood. But I'm okay with that because I like to work out. I'm going to consider that one a bonus. One thing I am having trouble with is getting out there and using this thing. I love it. It's so beautiful. I put so much time and effort into it. I don't want to accidentally mess it up. Well, I'd like to thank you for watching. And uh, if you don't mind, please like, share, and subscribe. 
Check us out on the social media links. And most important, get out there and make something. Hey, what's going on? Cool? Hey, I'm doing a functional training in my house tomorrow. You in? Right on. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> yeah.